Hey guys, welcome to game three between Jess, aka Cookie, upper right hand corner as the yellow Protoss, bottom left hand corner, we have Zamu or Zamurai as the white Zerg. Game two, Zamu getting Zerglings inside of Jess's base, creating all sorts of havoc, and then able to turn that into a long term economic victory. Just having overwhelming forces very quickly. Yeah, rolling that over into so really had every advantage is what it came down to. And really, I feel like that shuttle dying, where no economic could uh, no economic damage could be done comparatively from Jess, and just had to shell up and play a defensive game, that was really the nail in the coffin. <clears throat> this match, I'm wondering if we're gonna see something creative from Jess. Because I've seen in the past Jess be very creative with builds. And yeah, I'm I'm curious what we're gonna see here. Especially I don't know, I feel like the gate opener might be a little bit scary on a two-player map. We do see a pool opening once again, just actually scouting immediately after Pylon before putting it down additional tech to see what the Zerg is up to. Spawning pool third, and it looks like we're going to see a mirror build from game two, including the cancellation to sneak an extra drone. Just is going to spot it. Second probe should sneak down. Now the question is, do we see a forge first or do we see a gateway first? I feel like forge first in this scenario provides the advantage. There's the forge. Because you can get that cannon down, that neutralize, especially if you have a front door block that ends up neutralizing those first six Zergling. And then you can kind of play the economic game from there. Another critical part of this is keeping that probe alive to go ahead and harass that drone to delay that second hatchery as long as possible. That will be a big factor in just the success here in game two. We see 300 minerals are there after the initial six Zerglings have been, been produced. There's an initial cannon on the front. Keep in mind those Zerglings still can try to run right by. Drone trying to plop down does manage to sneak down an expansion. There was a bit of delay there. Probe moving to the north to go ahead and avoid, or try to lose this circling. Might be able to do so, depending on where it wanders. Moving towards the front, that first cannon's down. <clears throat> just plopping a nexus right behind it. Still might want to pull probes, just to keep that ramp at the very least blocked. And we do have two probes here to go ahead and provide some fodder on the front. There's the gateway. Looking to plug the gap. One circling already down. I think that... Oh, did the probe get through? I think the probe... Probe got somewhere. I'm not sure if that's the same probe or not. This Zergling doesn't have a kill. That drone doesn't have a kill. Overlord taking a little bit of unnecessary damage on the front. But this is a quick third hatchery now for Zamu. Already has the extractor up. Looks like going to transition into three hatch play. We'll see if it's three hatch spire or three hatch hider or something along those lines. Nice sealed front door now. Once that gateway's finished... No, actually, Proxy Tech. This is what I was talking about. So Jess, plopping a pylon. We'll see what this is up to. What this sneaky, sneaky pylon. Nexus is up momentarily. To follow. No zealots being produced initially to do whatever this is doing. This Zergling could be the thing that wins the game for Zamu, though. Two gateways. Proxy gateways on the corner. So this looks like two base play with this Nexus in the corner. The Overlord not in position to really get that that scouting information. Drone sneaking down. I like that play from Jess because now the Zergling may think, okay, I, I took care of that scouting drone. Now I just need to go ahead and I like that play. Sacrificing a drone, more or less, or sorry, sacrificing a probe to go ahead and put Zamu in a more comfortable position that might be to Zamu's detriment. Because now he's like, okay, I'm just going to use this Zergling to scout the third, and then move the Zerglings to kind of pressure the front door. Second base is up, but here, yeah, double gateway in the corner. So three gate play with Zealots. So Zamu is going to move out towards the front. He's going to have a lot of Zerglings posted here. He's not going to realize that he's going up against very rapid Zealot pressure. Critically, though, he is building a handful of additional Zerglings and Zergling speed. The trick for Jess is going to be hitting a timing where Zamu is expending all of these larvae on drone 
and catching all of this before that Mutalisk tech is in play. Going to be kind of a thin timing. We'll see. Zealots being produced absolutely everywhere. Currently, I'll try to keep a, a solid count here. So that's going to be four in the corner momentarily. We already have two out. So there's already, that'll be six and more to come. Overlord's in the main, sees that pylon, sees no tech here. Is going to be wandering down, perhaps seeing a lack of tech at the natural expansion as well. You can see the Zerglings reacting, trying to find something, but the Zealots are already moving their way out. These Zerglings being bamboozled a bit and not reacting to the Zealots that are making their way across the field. There are larvae that are being saved. These larvae uh, transforming into drones. And Zamu now has Zealots at that natural expansion. Still might be able to produce Mutalisks to fend this off. But the drone's having to pull off the line to try to fight against Zealots, and that's never a good situation. The dr More Zealots pouring in. The Zerglings trying to come back on defense, but not before several drones are going to get taken out here. And maybe even a hatchery with this amount of Zealots. Zerglings engaging the Zealots that are, that are coming in from behind. That hatchery being worked on. Still no Mutalisks. Just pure Zergling to try to defend this. And that natural expansion hatchery is down. Big win for Jess. A lot of Zerglings on the ground, but honestly, this is plenty of Zealots to engage this. I think Jess has done it. Zamu's what would have been the fourth path three cancellation on those Zerglings right there. Zealots now marching into the main. One Mutalist being, oh, sorry, five Mutalists being produced. They might be able to clean this up, but here's the thing, not before a lot of drones die. Just very intelligently going after that gas. In the main, what do we see is a follow-up? Some photon cannons to try to provide some defense against those Mutalisks. Probably going to end up, as soon as it's spotted, losing that proxy tech. Zealots, are they going to split? Some working on the Spire, some working on the Lair. It looks like that Spire is certainly going to get taken out. The Lair might get taken out as well. And I believe Jess has won it. Because that Lair is going to get taken out. Even with the loss of potential gateways, this is a complete base reset here at the 9. And we already have a Zealot making their way that direction. With the cannons defending at the natural and the main, enough cannons to defend against this amount of Mutalists, I don't think that... There's a way that Zamu can sneak back into this. And the Zealots honestly can march their way up to that 9 o'clock. Here's the thing with Mutalisks. Is yeah, they eventually take out Zealots. But it's still a lot of time. Zamu down, down to just 13 drones. The Zealots of the main have been cleaned up. That is 7 Mutalisks. And it looks like the Zealots still wandering up to provide more time and defense. And still getting more, it looks like almost getting additional drone kills. <clears throat> so, okay, two Zamu's name. He's got a lot of, well, he's supply capped. A lot of overlords, though. That's seven Mutalisks. There's, where's the other Mutalisk? They're, <laughs> unfortunately, not with the flock. A bunch of Mutalisks. But, this is plenty of cannons to defend this. As long as Jess doesn't drop the keyboard, that's going to be it. More cannons being produced. Gateway at the main. This is probably going to get taken out. That Zergly finally finding that. So, I mean, small victories here. Honestly, honestly, I feel like Zanu's best bet here is to just plop down as many hatcheries as possible. Maybe get a Hydralis Den down and try to reset the game from there. But, regardless, significantly behind. Because Jess is sitting at 45 supply. Is Yeah, it's going to lose these two gateways. Looks like taking a hatchery there. Level 1 weapons on the way. Should have... Yeah. Honestly, could go double Stargate to follow this up. And play from here. Does have two hatcheries. It looks like just going to try to shell up here. And play and play pseudo two hatchery at a distance. Interesting. A couple Zerglings kind of camping out. Maybe... Maybe with the Mutalisks in the air, can deny Jess a third. Jess actually plopping down a second Forge to go double upgrades. We are seeing double Stargate. I like that. Because more or less, can just rest air control here. Get a lot of Corsair out. And just blatantly win the game from there. And Zamu doesn't have the economy to keep up. And won't have the economy to keep up. Because it's basically one, one base Zerg. Versus two base Protoss. 
Able to pick off a, a few probes right there, but not without taking some damage. And needs to keep those Mulesks alive, because if those Mulesks are taken out, that's that's pure game. A few Zealots clumped up the main. <laughs> nice defensive enclave here. Additional gateways popping down. Looking for, yeah, that Corsair Crown to grow. Level 1 weapons is being upgraded. Hydralisk Den has been plopped down. Some Hydralisks being built. Actually, cancellation on that initial... Okay, never mind. The Corsair was built. Honestly, I feel like once these Mulus are taken care of, we're probably going to see GG from Zamu. Probably. And that's going to happen as soon as this... As soon as three Corsair are out there, I'm expecting Jess to go Mutalisk hunting. We'll see, though. Looking to find an angle, but there's just... Wow, this is really well shelled in. And at that stage, yeah, Zamu's done for. Lack of air control, yeah, has Hydralisks, but Jess can just keep building Zealots underneath this. Level 1 weapon's going to kick in. Everything working out for Jess this game. Twice the supply again. Pump me down. Kind of interesting cannon configuration, or uh, pylon configuration. The Mulos trying to get what they can, but still just reducing health here and there. And they need to preserve their health to buy some time, honestly. Drone count up to 21. Hydralisks grouping up. It looks like Zamu's response to this is, okay, I'm just going to go for a bust. I see the Corsair in the air. See the Corsair in the air. Nice rhyme, rhyme, rhyme there. I'll just try to kill everything on that front door and just go for a last-ditch def desperation push. But honestly, there's enough cannons here with the Zealots and with the upgrades. And I don't think that's going to... Hydralisk speed's going to be there. That I don't think a lot's going to get accomplished. We'll see, though. This is a lot of Hydralisk. This is a lot of Zerglings. But this is also a lot of Zealots. Zealots getting... A little bit of shields getting picked off. Six Corsair in the air. Seven now. The count keeps growing. More gateways plop down. Pushing forward. If Zamu's going to go for it, he needs to go now. And Jess not even given the opportunity. Wandering out. Catching those Hydralisks in open field. Unfortunately, the Corsair count... Going to take some damage from underneath, but that is going to distract the Hydralisks enough where they're going to be eating a lot of damage. And now the Corsair fleet moving forward to go ahead and work on those Overlords that are out in the field. One one very weakened Mutalisk left otherwise. Actually, sorry, two right there. They're going to very quickly get taken out by these cannons. And now Hydralisks trying to work on this natural expansion. Forge is going to get taken out. But here's the thing. While that's happening, Jess is just having a field day on the Overlord count. Just needs to find the Overlords. And is very quickly going to be able to wipe them out. So Hydralisks working towards the main. More cannons being warped in. Zamu's now on the red. So he needs to do it with what he has on the ground here. Zelt Lake Speed looks like it has kicked in. So these Hydralisks need to also do some micro and be careful. That gateway is unpowered. Might get taken out. But all, all Jess has to do is clear out the units that are still standing of Zamu's. And should win the, should win the game from there. But easier said than done sometimes. Picking away at this. As soon as the Hydralisks are getting in cannon range. Trying to dive those Zealots in. So they keep having to micro back and forth. More cannons being plopped down to protect this natural expansion. The Cybernetics Corps might get taken out. These Corsair. Trying to find Overlords. That are, it looks like some of them are wandering out here. We've got another one in that right hand corner. Some Dark Templar being produced as well. An Overlord is there. To work on the Dark Templar. The Corsair trying to rush in. To go ahead and take that out rapidly. Quickly turning around. Overlord's down, but it looks like that Dark Templar was picked off. Nice pick off by Zamu. But here's the thing. Now he's in the red, sitting at 39 versus 80 supply. Keep in mind, half that supply is, is in probes, though. And the Corsair is going to move back out again, try to find those units. If As soon as another Dark Templar is out here, which actually might be a while, that front door was going to be secure. But I think this is it. This is a this is a dwindling Hydralis force. It looks like another round of Hydralis trying to move up. Another Overlord down. 19 supply available now for Zamu. Is this enough Hydralis to get it done? I honestly do not think so. But still going to fight it out. Zalt's pushing on that front. Trying to keep them away from that cannon wall. Getting a lot of free damage, honestly. And Jess is happy to donate these units. Because as long as these Hydralisks die, Zamu's going to continue basically not... Be in a situation where additional drones are not being produced. And the Overlord count continues to plummet. More Overlords being produced. Yeah, now this situation is where these Corsairs can just camp on top of these bases. Looks like a single or a single Dark Templar managed to sneak out and take out that third base. So everything ugly for Zamu. Clinging on to this match, really 
surprised we haven't seen a GG yet at this stage of things. Perhaps a bit of frustration there. One base left. A slew. Here's the thing. Slew of Overlord being produced. A Dark Templar sneaking in. Might be able to sneak some Hydralisks in between here. But now... Ooh, High Templar. Uh, gonna get taken out. But now a Dark Templar in the main with no defense. There's GG finally from Zamu. And just able to pull it out. Good game. So, just going to move on to the winner's match. Zamu is not eliminated. We'll move on to loser's match. We'll move on to, I guess let's do the winner's match. Winner's bracket first. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for listening.